see this is uh, properly how you can identify. James! Hey! Hey! Put the knife down! Put the knife down! Put the knife down! Cornwood! Do not let him in! He just stabbed somebody! Get out of the car! Oh my god! Oh my god! Drive or die! He has a knife! Drive or die! Dispatch, we got James Randall holding up a grime driver with a knife. He just stabbed somebody inside Senior Buns. They're taking off now. They're going westbound Vespucci. He stabbed someone. He didn't shoot his ass. No, I didn't shoot him. Is that him right there? That is not him. Trying to BCB on the vehicle. I mean, do we really need him? So at Senior Buns, okay, I'm going to need 77s. I'm going to beat you guys out here. I'm going to set up outside. He's running out back. He's probably running out back. We're on the way. Front corner I have eyes on him. He's in the back. Please. Pincer now, pincer now, pincer now. Yeah, I'm on the back. I'm, the on back. The back. I'm in the back. I'm in the back. We're coming in. I'm pincering, pincering. James, drop the oh, fucking knife. Put it, James. I got lethal. Right into the kitchen. I got lethal. I got lethal. James. Okay, he has a hostage. Yeah. Ah! Ah! James. Okay. okay. James. Don't do it. James, don't do it. James, James. don't fucking do it. Okay. Talk I do. I don't. I don't. I don't have a crossing. I don't have a crossing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Let us talk about it, okay, James? Take some deep breaths, okay? Nobody else needs to get hurt, okay? Sir, we're gonna, sir, we're gonna make sure you're okay. The walk in is for crying. Make sure you're crying in there. Oh no my god. Hey, hey, y'all need to leave. Y'all need to leave. Listen, it's too dangerous. It's James, dangerous. Yeah. Leave, leave. Just put the knife leave. away. We're going to talk about everything. Get out of the back. Put the guns away. It's too dangerous. Don't walk at me. Do not walk at me, James. James, stop. James, James, stop. James. James, put the James, put the knife down, James. James, guys, can you all clear out of the building, please? What the shit do you all not understand? Okay, listen. We're about to leave and let's say. Everybody out. Everybody out of the building. People get out. Oh my god! Sir, get out of the everybody, fucking everybody building. Everybody out from the front of house, too. Come I'm on. going for ghosts. Oh, James. shit. He's resisting. James, stop. Oh, Jesus, Cornwood. James, stop. Is the, is the, is the, is the, James, is damn it. He's, 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 he's running. He's running. I'm going to shoot running. his ass. Oh, no, but I can't. Oh, James. Okay, oh, James. What the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus Christ on the cross. Please. Can y'all leave the day? I'm about to. Hey. Well, you you keep him the fuck out of here. Outside. Hey, I'm about to I'm about to leave and let this some bitch slice up everybody here. Okay? And they're going to be serving filet of fish. It's a filet of human. James, put the knife away, James. James, Oh God. oh God! Oh God! Take this shot! Okay. Take this shot! This is what happens when you guys just like. Cornwood, you're gonna, you you're gonna have to take the shot. I'm, I'm so dead. Yeah, I think it's really just do it. You yeah, have to do it. You have a hundred percent backing. I will back you to the other You have to take the shot. Out of the building. You gotta take the shot, Cornwood. You gotta get on my side. Maybe if you fucking listened and cleared out of the building. Please, I'm so scared. Please. Jesus! <laughs> That's my special forces right there. Oh, God. Okay, he's down. Good, good shot, soldier. It's the best police department I've ever seen in my life. Guys, he's dead! James, you okay? <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, I, I damn near charged everybody in there with felony obstruction of justice. I, I really, I would not be opposed, Cornwood. I mean, this guy, like, the reason he's taking hostage is because they don't fucking leave. I thought I was gonna hit them. Uh, my shoulder, listen, you, listen, I'm James. I don't think it's your I'm shoulder. Here. You got to You have my yeah. statement. Uh huh. You're gonna need sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, where? Oh, wait, God. where did I get him? Or where did where did he get shot? <clears throat> the, the head. Oh well. Um. <laughs> you know I had five yeah. bullets in my head earlier, Tim. Jesus Christ. Yep. Didn't hit it. Hey, and you know what? I didn't feel a thing. It was crazy. Yeah, I just had to do this right quick. Okay. You take it. God damn it, Cornwood. It's not good for your mayoral campaign. Well, I, well, I just saved the damn burger shot. I'm just yeah, amazed that you... God, that would have that been a bad lawsuit. The hell that would <laughs> We don't have the money to, to, to afford a lawsuit like this. Yeah, I don't know. Should we Should we even be telling people that... I... Yeah, no, 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 no. no. That, this, this stays between you and I and Leon. Next mayoral candidate. Business proposals. How will you handle them? <clears throat> Y'all hear that? Hey, turn off your fucking phone, bitch. <laughs> yeah, turn off your dadgum phone. Okay, now listen up. I, I know there's a hell of a lot of folks here that, uh, look, I'm I'm not like a lot of these other folks. All right, I'm look, I'm I'm one of you. All right, I'm a common man. You know, I have a listen. My family, 
They have a farm, you know, we got a family business, and I know there's a lot of folks like y'all who've moved into the city over the years, and maybe your family's got a business. All right, maybe you want to have opportunities for your family to move into this city. Maybe you want to have your families have that opportunity to come in here, all right, and be able to expand and be able to continue to grow and uh, be able to uh, <clears throat> to, to uh, continue on for many generations, right? Now, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to go out there and we're going to want to be able to take these business proposals and look at, hey, what is going to work in this city? Because truthfully, all right, truthfully, this is the land of opportunity. All right. This is Los Santos. All right. And you should have every single damn opportunity in order to make something of yourself. There's certain things that this city needs. There's certain things that we need for the people. All right. So it ain't just about the businesses. All right. It's also about the consumers. It's about the customers. All right. It's about the people of this city who want certain opportunities. And I think that's the big thing. I think it goes both ways, and that's with every business. It's not just the business itself, but it's also the people there that want what they don't have right now. Thank you. You think that you think that went good, Santa? Oh yeah, you got this thing in the bag. It's not even gonna be close. Yeah, hell, I, I thought I thought I thought we did pretty damn good. Well, I ain't gotta, you probably don't gotta do shit from now on. Yeah, that was that was real damn good. All right, Cornwood, we're gonna have a discussion. Howdy. Let's go down here. Oh, absolutely, ma'am. Do you introduce yourself as the sheriff to uh, a new hire today? Probably. Do you remember the conversation we already had about that? Uh, no. I believe I've already warned you multiple times to not introduce yourself as the sheriff. <sighs> I might have said former, but I don't, hell, I don't remember. From what I heard, that's not correct. <laughs> oh, well, shit. By doing that, you are messing with that chain of command, making people think that you are a different rank than you are. You are misrepresenting yourself as an officer. So for that, I will be issuing you one dap. That's just to stop. Well, how many, hold on, how many dap points do I have? Uh, that brings you to four. So am I leading? <laughs> After five dap points, you're suspended. At ten, you're fired. Suspended until high command reviews whether you deserve your job or not. You know, there's already word on the street of, are you going to pull up Cornwood and just shoot me? You know, there's civilians that they think the cops are just going to walk up and shoot people <laughs> pulling a Cornwood. Why the hell would they say that? Because that's what you do. People don't feel safe around you. They, they feel like their life is more in danger when you are around. So another issue I have, uh, what happened at the mayoral debate yesterday? I think I gave a damn good speech. <laughs> Were you on duty for the debate? Oh, you hell, clocked I'm, on or clocked off? Hell, I'm always on duty. We're clocked on duty in civilian clothes. Partially. I mean, I still have my badge out, my, my hat, and my uh, whatnot. Where in SOPs does it state any of those are appropriate clothing? Uh, well, I, mean, I believe it's in there somewhere. <laughs> just like Incorrect. I wrote those <laughs> myself. Like... Uh, I had my hat on. I had my, my uh, PD-issued belt buckle. Okay, so you were not in uniform. All right, at this time, Cornwood, I'm going to issue you three daps for that situation. You were out of uniform. You're going to need to hand over your badge, taser, all your PD equipment, and you have a 24-hour suspension. Oh, my Lord. You know, if, you know, if I'm not around for 24 hours, this whole thing is going to be a, it's going to turn into a dadgum shit show. You realize that, right, ma'am? I do need your equipment. I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, you'll be able to clock off duty, and at this time tomorrow, you, uh, you're you unsuspended. Any further DAP points after that is, a, is an additional suspension. I'm telling you, you, you are going to regret this. This is going to be bad. I'm so I'm damn... I'm going to regret I, this. I, Ma'am, I am worried. Howdy, y'all. All right, I'll walk you to the front to sign up. Out of slacks. All right, you can clock off duty right there. At 4 o'clock tomorrow, you're free to clock back on. You realize it's going to be a dadgum shit show for about 24 hours. I think we'll be just fine. This would have never happened to the damn BCSO. It's a dadgum liberal shithole police department. You got to be shit. All right, you might want to walk away now before you don't have a job. Um, yeah, so you have to fill in the form. <laughs> Sit there for 24 hours. Cletus, come this way. You you said to me how much you care about being a police officer. Uh huh. You mentioned how much <clears throat> you care. And you want to make a difference, and you came back for a reason. Sometimes some things happen in this world. Slacks. Yeah. Then it's a dad gum. Wrong. All right. There, there, officer. Sorry for what happened. All right. I'm sorry too, young man. I'm sorry too. There's things that happen slacks in this world that, you know, sometimes things just don't feel right. And I think this is one of them moments. You think so? Yeah, hell. I mean, you can't even grab your damn gun. Bobby Charles is standing there staring at us. I mean, this can't get much worse. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's not true. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? <laughs> Cletus, what I was trying to say is maybe it's time to go on a journey. So you understand the difference between right or wrong. So you can learn from it. Hell, I don't understand what the hell I did wrong. I shot that some bitch who who stabbed two people. 
Remember what I told you in one of my gun safety classes? Know your target and beyond it? Uh-huh. The problem is, you were trying to shoot the hostage to take out <laughs> Mr. Randall. Okay, and? <laughs> that is addition by subtraction. I do agree that taking out the suspect is ideal. However, we as police officers cannot just take one life out to save another one. Y'all, sometimes you just gotta... You gotta understand that the tsunami's coming and it's gonna cut you off in the middle of what you're saying. <laughs> you, are you, are you, are you a dumb sir? What's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm a mayoral oh, candidate and I was told it'd be good for my campaign to come here and, you know, relate to, to all the audiences in the city. The damn shit I do for votes. Holy fuck, you are sexy. God damn. Alright, just so you know, I, I don't do this shit for free, okay? Oh, God damn. This is the shit I'll do for votes. Best of luck. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh, right. A spider god, you look amazing! Oh my god. Thank you, yes. Remember to vote for Cornwood. Cornwood was you. Oh my god, Cornwood! Cornwood, you need to be mad right now. Oh my god. That's my president! Hey, remember, vote Cornwood for Meyer. I'm voting you now. You live through this town for the simpler city life. But all you found was a crown filled land of strife.